There's a timestamp below if you want to skip to the part. Anyways, the first Ascended is super addicting. I have a 100 plus hour on this game. And not gonna lie, I hate myself for playing a 100 plus hour on this game. But nevertheless, this game is fun. After you complete the story mode, there's so much thing to do. Like farming, fighting, colossal. Where the fuck is my runner? Or upgrading your weapon and Ascended. The game is still continuing to update and fixing a lot of stuff that was terrible in the past, like the Equip the Vault. I don't want to talk about it, but this game is pretty much a grind whenever you're getting a new Descendant, oh, a legendary weapon, leveling up your mastery, or grinding gold and copper. Whatever you do in this game, it's gonna be a grind. Now, let us begin how I grind in the first Descendant. Man, what a cringy ass intro. After completing the story mode, my one goal in mind was how am I supposed to get ultimate money? And there's step to it. Because right now, I'm actually grinding for Enzo. The reason for grinding Enzo is for the Encryption Vault. The Encryption Vault is just another material farm to go around. But the Encryption Vault minigame is the reason why I'm grinding for him. Ooh. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. No! Yo, what? I'm farming a Morphmus Material Pattern 21, which has Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. And yes, there's other patterns to farm him, but I'm not gonna lie. Looking back, I could have farmed the other pattern than doing the goddamn outpost. 20 time. Reason being, the 20% drop rate is not 20%ing. But I say, fuck it. We grind. <gasps> oh my god. I later grind the Void Fragment in hard mode because it actually dropped the same amount of shard to activate the normal Void Fusion Reactor. Quick update, they updated more shard for reward and now they drop shard by killing enemies in special operation. Like I wish they had that sooner. I quickly killed the boss and got the Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. Yes! Thing is going great for me. Pattern 39 is next. And is a mining mission, which is the easiest mission, but the longest mission. I then fight the Colossal. I destroyed him. Got my second piece. The Stabilizer Blueprint. Yes! Yes! And now, for the final blueprint. I grinded on the outpost again. And, not gonna lie, I hate Grinding the outpost again. The 20% is not 20%ing, and waiting five minutes every time is a pain. <coughs> Grinding some shard, activate the reactor, kill the boss, got my final blueprint. But I'm still missing one piece, which is the code. And I'm debating whether I fight Hangman or Dead Bride. And Obviously, I'm choosing their bride. In the early stage of this game, people struggle to fight Hangman. And there's many Hangman guide on YouTube. Cause this boss have a different mechanic than the other bosses. It requires teamwork. Fucking put the kill, bro! So, I choose Dead Bride because I could just solo her. Painless boss with no effort. But, doing the defense mission multiple time is painful. Two hour three what the fuck what 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 just happened fought the bride and finally got enzo code craft his part and waited for the next day before i went to sleep i did some off camera grinding and you already know since you see the person i'm researching I went around and finding those encrypted vaults. And those minigame I was struggling in is fucking light work. Too easy. Man, I was struggling with this shit, but look at me now. Now, the real grind begins. I did some research on how to get ultimate bunny part. And to be honest, it's gonna be a pain to do. So the first two I'm grinding for are pattern 99 and 73, which come from the outpost while doing a successful 
infiltration. So yeah, if you don't know what that is, pretty much we gotta go sell and interact those orange looking machines. After that is done, we kill the boss and I just been doing this back and forth. Grinding 99, then 73. Discovered by enemy. After I got 20 of them, I later grind pattern 87. I only got about five patterns, which I think is enough for getting a 20% drop. Don't quote me on this. I fight Pyromaniac again and again and again until my last pattern. Hell yeah! I knew it. I told you, man. The last one is always guaranteed. I beat Swamp Walker and later beat Obstructor. Now, you've been saying, how come I wasn't struggling throughout any bosses? I would say upgrade your gun, crystal dump, modify your weapon, increase their capacity, and you'll be able to beat those boss in no time. I didn't put any crystallization on my descendant because I think this is enough to carry me. Also, grind for external components. This helped you a lot. All of them has defense or HP and the substat must have element resistance and extra HP or defense. The reactor should only be farmed if you're mating one of the weapons, like the Thunder Cage. I've been using this gun and never letting it go until I farm other ultimate descended. But yeah, just don't die as much or your teammate will definitely leave the match. Anyways, I grind for pattern 106 so I can get ultimate bunny code, which have a 6% chance. Keep in mind that this is really hard to get. 6% is not a rookie number. So I only done like two dungeon runs. And to be honest, I should have done more to keep my chance up. But I was impatient. I fought the boss four times, got nothing in return. Went to the dungeon one more time, then fight the boss. Again, I use the shape stabilizer because knowing that 6% is low, I want my chance high. Hell yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm breaking my arm! Oh my shit! Oh my god, my arm. My fucking arm. Oh shit. After all that, I need to farm shark in order to open 99 and 73. And this took a long time. I fucking hate grinding for those. I started off by grinding pattern 73. I killed the boss about seven times and got the cell. Pretty refreshing. Thank you! Now, pattern 99 is a different story. I was starting to believe that 10% was a 6% chance. I run this reactor 24 times and got nothing. But I did get energy activator blueprint, which have a 6% chance. Okay, what the fuck, man? Please. Please, I just want bunny. I just want bunny, please. I can't even watch. <laughs> Tell me why I have that twice in a row, bro. 6%? Nah. 6%? Nah. It's crazy, bro. Look, I'm not grinding that fucking outpost again. So, instead, I run those dungeons to get the pattern 117. Or 117. And... This is the hardest piece to get. The dungeon isn't that bad since it's really easy to do. Time consuming, but really easy to do. The hard part is Frost Walker. This boss is really easy. You target the brain, have at least one runner to collect those flames. Do not collect the flame while it's on the ground, only the runner. Until we reach 730 or 725, when that time reach, collect the six flame stay together and beat the boss but if we happen to stay longer collect the flame until 4 30 stay together then beat the boss simple and done but finding a good teammate is quite hard i'm never trusting that person as my runner you can tell that i was having a shit time finding this boss over and over where the fuck is my runner? I came to the conclusion where if I have 
teammate who don't know what they're doing. I'm cooked. Did this guy? There's just no way. 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 How how did how do people just die? How do people? Yo, people are so dumb. And after I beat Frostwalker once, thank you. My RNG is terrible. So yeah, you get where I'm going. And look at this. 10%, it's not even gonna have. Yeah, see? All right, let's see. 10% ultimate bunny. Please. Please. God fucking. Are you kidding me right now? This is the worst team, bro. Oh my god. Please, Ultimate Bunny. I worked so hard for that one. Oh my god, please. Please, for the love of God. Please, 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 please. Oh. No way, right? Fuck. Just me, myself, and I. I've been struggling in this boss ever since I haven't got ultimate bunny. What is this? Okay. Moment of truth, I guess. I don't know. I already give it up in this point. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my god! 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 Finally! Finally! Fucking finally! Oh, thank you! Thank you, the RNG! Thank you, RNG! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, bro! Thank Jesus Christ, bro! Thank the goddess of whoever uh the dev in this game. Oh my god! Finally, I got ultimate bunny. Oh my god, GG! Oh my god, GG! Oh my god, GG! Oh my god, GG! GG! I'm I'm like, I'm like freaking out, bro. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out, bro. Holy shit, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. 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 Oh my fucking God. Am I recording? Am I recording? Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't, oh my God. 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 Yo, I don't know why my excitement just kicked in. <laughs> Oh my god. And finally, after that much struggle from the Frostwalker, I finally got Ultimate Bunny. And this is how I grind the first Ascendant. Use the story mode, grind for Enzo, grind for Sharreen, and lastly, grind for Ultimate Bunny. Yeah, that's about it. I really need to stop playing this game though. Okay, quick note. I forgot to add after defeating Frostwalker. I totally forgot about the specialist biometal. This shit dropped two or three at a time, which was a pain. And this is before the update drop. So I had to do the back and forth strategy again, which I had that update sooner. And yeah, that's about it. Take care.